Parents of Reddit, what was your oh god I've raised a monster moment? Teaching my kid the value of money, we'd give her tuck shop slash snack money in the day and we later found out she was just giving it away not understanding the value of money at all. A few long deep conversations, where I hate to admit I became a capitalist poster boy later, and she starts to understand that money has a value, how hard it can be to get and that it's even harder to keep. Fast forward a few weeks later, we run out of milk and I only have my card and no cash on me, plus our local shop will only now accept card purchases over £10, so I figure I'll ask my darling angel little girl if I can borrow £1 for milk and put it back tomorrow. No. No you can't have my money daddy. I earned it and you need to learn responsibility that money doesn't just fall from the sky and you can't just go around giving everything away as pretty soon you'll have nothing. I suck at parenting. Okay, this is not my kid, but my mom found out she was raising an asshole when we were out baby clothes shopping with my pregnant aunt, whose first baby had died a few days after birth a year or two earlier, and my brother says what are you buying it clothes for, when you don't even know it's going to live? Holy shit. That's just fucking cruel. I realized I was stranded in the bathroom with no toilet paper, and called for my son. He demanded 10 bucks. I reminded him he's not so old he can't be left on a doorstep. He gave me two squares of toilet paper. Him, don't have a square to spare. Me, how can you not spare a square? Is it two ply? I'll take one ply. When I watched my younger son walk out on the porch, pick up a plastic whittle bat, look at it, look at his older brother sitting on the porch steps, look back at the bat, and then haul back, and crack his brother's head like Babe Ruth popping one out of the park. I could watch his thought process in 5 seconds time, but. Brother. But. Hit. No hesitation. Not the parent, but my mom told me that when she was pregnant with me, my half-brother tried to convince her to swallow a steak knife so that it would cut me up and she would have an abortion. Then when I was I think 7, he turned on the shower, put on a movie for me and my sister, and snuck out while he was supposed to be babysitting to go pick up his girlfriend in my dad's car, which he then wrecked. In his adult years, he's beaten the Jack Russell Terrier puppy to death and at one point tried to commit suicide by downing a bottle of melatonin. There's more, but I don't think anyone will believe me as it is. Edit, I've been asked multiple times to name other things he's done. Here's what I had replied elsewhere. That's not his only car related stupidity. He also had to go to the hospital after missing a jump trying to car surf in the church's parking lot and when he got his inheritance from his biological father, about $60,000, he spent most of it on a 72 charger then paid even more to have some ridiculous custom engine put in. His family was in desperate need of a place to live and when they got evicted his car still didn't have seats. Other stuff off the top of my head. He went to jail for pulling a gun on an undercover cop that had pulled him over. He fed his baby's Mountain Dew, literally just poured the stuff from the 2 liter into the baby bottle. He was expelled from high school for peeing in the water fountain. He smashed a Mario All-Stars cart because he couldn't beat Mario 2. He bought a CDI at launch. His wife has cheated on him so many times that he's decided that he can just try to pick up any girl he wants. He's not managed to cheat on her yet. He took HGH and it made him lose his neck. He and his wife stole the rental juker box from their failed business, but then immediately broke it. He cut his kids off from seeing their grandmother because she took my side after he refused to pay me $50 for fixing his laptop, which I had agreed to do in front of other family members. His wife lied to the cops and had them at my door asking if I had stolen it. Their children told the police officer that they had agreed to pay me and never did. Oh, I almost forgot to mention. When his biological father, not mine, we share a mom, died and left him around 60k, he wanted as much of that money as possible, so he decided to skimp on the funeral and have him cremated. His first attempt was to have the body driven to a pet crematorium because that was the lowest price he and his wife could find online. I have three sons 8, 23, and 26. The middle one, Andrew, boasted to me that he had sex with over 30 chicks on Tinder and with some of them in my bed. 
Yeah, Andrew, you're a dick. Congrats. You should have sex with your wife on his bed and tell him. See how he likes it. This chilling conversation with my then 4.5 year old daughter. Mommy, do you love me? Of course, my darling. I love you forever and always, no matter what. Even after I kill, little brother's name? Sweet as pie smile on her face and serious look in her eye. At the time she had recently learned to tie knots and I'd already had to take her jump ropes away as I'd found her with one tied around little brother's neck pretending he was a horsey. When I was a teenager my friend's little brother had a ton of psychotic tendencies. A couple of examples I remember is him putting their dog in a cooler and suffocating it because it was being annoying also he once ran into my friend's room, handed me a knife, went to the kitchen and sliced his own arm and proceeded to tell his parents that I cut him. What is even weirder is that even when they saw me holding a knife they didn't believe him for a second. Well about 3 years ago he shot his dad so I'd say he was slash is a monster. When my sons were 12 and 13 the older one stole $600 from my wife and I, he gave the younger one half. When they were caught and everything was said and done the younger son told us that we didn't have the right to take his money from him because he didn't steal it. That was when I knew. Now ages 19 and 20, the older son has long grown out of it. The younger one has never stopped stealing and lying. Before moving out he told me that he has always resented me for locking things up and, I'm quoting him here, not letting me take whatever I want from you. It amazes me because we raised all four of our kids the same way and the other two have always been good kids and kind hearted. Oh well. Had a neighborhood kid babysitting for my little ones after school. She had some other kids over who got into the liquor cabinet. We told her divorce mom who very indignantly told us we were lying. About a month later her dad comes to the house with a bottle of Kurzweiser, alcohol used for cooking fondue, a couple cheap gold necklaces from my wife, a spare key to our house and an old checkbook from a closed bank account. He apologized profusely, and I remember him saying I never thought my kid would be the bad kid in the neighborhood, it was painful to see. Well at least he accepted the truth, so things could be solved. Why didn't he march the kid over there though, not that I want to judge how he handled it, but the kid thief should have been the one making a painful to see proclamation, not the dad. I went to school with a girl who often stole from her parents. The last fiasco I heard about was when she tried to date my older brother who was 18 plus which was a big no no for our age group, 13 to 15. She tried to tell him that her parents gave her a credit card to use on whatever she wanted. I gave him the war no on her age and past problems with stealing. Turns out she was kicked out of her parents house after racking up $30k on a credit she stole from her mom's purse and stole the new one on her way out the door. On a previous occasion they had her stand outside one of the only grocery stores with a sign that said I steal from my parents and didn't learn my lesson the first time. Crystal, if you're out there you still suck. In her defense, they did name her Crystal. Thanks for tuning in, I'll see you guys in the next episode.